HHM. Dr. Master Film. Dr. Emma Brown, one. And I'm Deadly Chair 1283, and this is Horror Nights Updaters. Uh, the Red Seal TV and Mr. Horror Nights will not be joining us. Mr. Horror Nights is busy, and the Red Seal TV is on a two month hiatus, so the show might look, might look a little different, but we'll try to keep it stable as possible. So, uh, John, will you please explain to the people the first piece of news? <laughs> Alright, so the dates for Halloween Horror Nights 23 have been announced, and uh, the first night is on September 20th, and uh, it goes to the 21st, okay, 26th through 29th, October 3 through 6, 10 through 13, 16 through 20th, 23 through 27th, October 31st, until November 2nd. So that's 27 nights. That's the longest event um, ever. And um, it will be only held at Universal Studios Florida once again. Um, also, so the uh, frequent beer passes have been released and the price for it, which is about $84. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. When do, we, um, when do Universal usually put the ticket prices officially on their website? Can I remember from last year? I think in July or June. Mm -hmm. I think in June. No, I thought it was earlier, wasn't it? Was it not? Um, was it not it was May. It might be June, actually. Yeah, May or June. Can I remember last year? They sold. It was really early, wasn't it, last year? It was. Yeah. Well, it was about the same time they mentioned The Walking Dead. Okay. Yeah. You should follow at Christmas time. <laughs> but, uh, so, uh, so what's the next topic? Are we talking about Walking Dead or? Oh, yeah, uh, HH Encrypt, which is a fan website for Halloween Hornet. Uh, they recently were at, um, this, uh, event called The Walking Dead Escape. I don't know where it is. My guess is... Philadelphia, Texas. I think it is. Philadelphia, okay. So, well, is it? I think so, yeah. Oh, uh, okay, so they post, like a few days ago, they posted a uh, uh, comment on Facebook saying that they've been hearing a bit of chatter on uh, that there could be like a possible uh, Walking Dead maze again at uh, Halloween morning. And it's going to be in the prison. Uh, so it's going to be based off season three. And um, they say, it's, uh, according to what they've heard, it's, it's likely. It, it, maybe it's like a confirmation that it is. But that's just what they posted. So what do you guys think about that? The walking dead turning. Well, I don't think it'd be any worse than last year's. So I think if anything, it might actually be kind of good. It might be good this one. I mean, especially if it's in the prison. Uh, it just depends on what scenes or which layout they use for it, really. I mean, is it going to be all in the prison or is it going to start off where, you know, is it, where they, are they going to have the... Um, What's the town calls now? Where the Woodbury. governor lives? Woodbury. Woodbury. Is it going to have a part of Woodbury in? You know, where mm -hmm. uh, they could have part of Woodbury in where they have to have in the, um, the you know, where they have the fights and the zombies certainly bring the zombies in and the fights. It could be something like that. But yeah. uh, if it's all in the prison, it's just going to, it might be a bit boring after a while. It might be start off alright, but it might just be too much the same if it's just the prison all the way through. Because obviously it's just going to look exactly the same, right? But I've got a feeling this year. That, well, yeah, they yeah, definitely after last year. It's, uh, but it's, I mean, it can't like I say it can't be worse than last year's. Last year's didn't really make no sense. It was just scenes, best scenes out of the show, just all in the same house. It wasn't really a story as you went through the house. It was literally like bangers and shit. If they did the sh if they did season three, it would start off in the prison. They'll have a prison facade and it will end in Woodsbury. 
Yeah. Well, I've got a feeling that what they do is, you know, they, um, as you walk in, they're going to have, they have fences either side, and it's like where the zombies will be banging on the fence, and as you get down, the first scare will be like, there's a gap in the fence, and someone will come out. I think that's how it'd be. The, the first facade yeah. will be like, no, they wet. And then it'd be like the gates, wouldn't it? And then you'd be have like the grass area maybe, and then you go inside the prison, you'd have like the, uh, kind of dark passageways and they pretty have prison cells obviously with zombies jumping out because they kind of did the prison cells um, kind of similar in um, what, was it, what was the house called with the uh, uh, HHN no HHN 21 with the um, where the Spanish Armada is smashed into that yeah the kind of similar, similar there's like little cells that uh, possible I mean they've used the prison uh, thing before but <clears throat> Depends on how well they use at this time, or how much they can use. Because like, apparently last time it was a, there was a, a loads of arguments, weren't they? Apparently with uh, over the makeup and everything, and how the zombies looked and uh, and what they wanted them to use. Basically, it was AMC that told them what they could use and what they couldn't use. They didn't have free reign on the series, so. But, uh, Honestly, I'm. I just want one year without zombies. I think they've overdone zombies so much. Like, I don't, I don't mind it as long as there's a variation of houses. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't live with doing, say, they had Resident Evil, Walking Dead, and World War Z there. That'd be awful. That than free. But I think if they have, like, say, they had American Wealth in London, so you got Werewolf, and then they have, say, something like Abbott Dogs of War, just say, and then they have. Walking Dead, and then they have literally all, if they use eight houses, I'll say they're all different, so it'll give you a variation rather than just um, one sort of scare as well. I mean, I'd love to see something like Interstellar Terror Air again, something a little bit different rather than just mm. monsters. You know. Speaking of uh, American Werewolf in London, um, in one of Dr. Jimmy's videos, apparently John pointed this out. Uh, Dr. Jimmy wore a werewolf t-shirt and he likes to hide hints in his videos any way, any way he can, so it could mean that we might have American Werewolf in London. Yeah. Also, uh, I think it could be a cool house, that, to be fair. I think if we did American Wealth in London, it could be a cool house, because you've got the scene in the, um, with a dream sequence, aren't you, with the uh, Nazi zombie type monsters that's booting the door. So you'd have something, you wouldn't just have the werewolf, you'd have, obviously, they could incorporate that into it as well, if they did do the American Wealth. Now, on American World in London, uh, John Murdy uh, actually. Vic actually told me this, uh, Jeremiah Brown. He told me that, uh, John Murdy, uh, posted like a, a hint that saying that it's just like it's true, like it's regarding, it's referencing to a maid. And it's, uh, like a city in the USA. In, in, oh, same as. In, in, in uh, England. And in Central, there's a city called London. And of course, we all know that London is in England, so that could be a link a hint to American world in London, maybe being a shared ID. Um, so, what do you guys think about that? I think we might. Doesn't, doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, yeah I think it could be a cool house. Could be, yeah. Especially, especially if they reuse some of the London props from. Uh, what was the name of that house? Body collector. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, something oh, else of these, but uh, I tell you what, I wouldn't mind a body collector's house this year. That was really, uh, that was my favourite house out of, uh, is it 18, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah 18. Yeah, yeah I, could, I could do another house. The only thing is, really, though, if. if uh, this year, if if uh, Orlando have got it back and Ollie was not controlling it, we're probably only going to have about three. If we've got eight houses, we're only probably going to have about three or four IPs, aren't we? Yeah. Probably two. Three or four, I think. Maybe three at the most. Yeah. Cause, I mean, so if you think about it, Walking Dead, American Werewolf, and then one other. 
maybe American Horror Story. That's another oh, rumor going around yeah. due to uh, just Jimmy's whole cabin in the woods. So, my way of stream, the horror, horror haunt convention that's going on and it's going to start in May. And uh, there's going to be an HHM panel there on May 25th. And A and is going to be there. They're going to talk about the interaction. It's going to have a Halloween morning. For example, last year with War on Earth, they use people to play online and they can, they can also go to the park and do some uh, uh, tasks and objectives and other stuff. Um, so, there was this person on Facebook, on the HTM group, uh, called Gothwack, Goth Whack. and uh, this person is um, presumed to be a uh, former Arden Sign member or like a Legendary Truth member or something like that. And she's posting on her timeline that a Legendary Truth is watching her and you know, stuff like that. Uh, but then she put up a uh, post saying that at the end of May she thinks or something along those lines. So could that be a hint that something might be revealed or released by Universal at the end of May? Thinking about that, um, is it possible that uh, A and D will release a, uh, some, you know, will announce something at the panel, uh, according to what Goth Wacky said on Facebook? So, what do you guys think? I think it, it might be possible. If it's I definitely think that uh, they will announce something yeah. at the panel. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I do. I think if any, if anything, they'll either show some concepts out or they maybe announce. Uh, it is the may announce the first house, which is, is Walking Dead. There, that's the first house I reckon they'll uh, announce anyway, due to uh, publicity and obviously the all the uh, crazy have stirred up last year. So that'd be my guess. I, I think they're gonna announce something for the game. Yeah, that's what I think too. Impossible legendary truth. Yeah. Because I think, um, I think if they were going to announce Walking Dead returning, they will do it at Comic Con this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when's Comic Con now? Is it, um, is it, when is it? Is it in the summer or not? Summer, yep. Yeah. yeah. It just it just depends this year on how much they want to uh, publicise the event because last year's got such a slating really everyone criticised it due to part being overcrowded obviously only seven houses weren't their fault really but um, it just depends how early they're going to start trying to put the feelers out and get the uh, get the event publicised this year. Yeah. Okay. I mean, obviously, after after the game last year, they're obviously going to have a game this year because that was one of the highlights of the event, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was the uh, main, like, that was PJ's main uh, addition to, like, the event last mm-hmm. year. Because, like, they didn't really have any freedom last year, but that was, like, their little contribution to what they can create. Exactly, yeah. No, even PJ Panarino yeah. himself, the uh, head of R and Design, if you guys don't know, uh, is uh, he he confirmed that uh, he was asked by a guest, and we we didn't mention this before, but just to reiterate, uh, he confirmed that Horror on Earth is returning. So, and since the panel has to do with interactive experiences of uh, at Halloween Horror Nights, it would make sense is to announce to announce. Something related to horror, on Earth, legendary truth, something along that nature. So, yeah, I think for the IP houses, I think they're just gonna announce them like at the in July, like they've always done, or like well, not always, but last year. Um, you know, stuff like that. So yeah. Doctor Jimmy mentioned another clue, and it was a racer. Did any guys have any ideas what that might be? Uh, someone was said, I think, on um, Horror Night Nightmares that they thought it was American Horror Story due to a race that in this country is called the Rubber and the Rubber Man in Series 1. But it's, uh, I just think it's the same as the Kevin one. I think you can go any way with it. I just think it's... Uh, it's I just, I don't, to be honest, I was 
I don't have a clue, really. Yeah, me neither. I, I have no idea. It, it really, it can be anything. Whatever. It means werewolves, too, in some literature. That should be... Yeah. Was that, John, was that the video uh, when he was doing some of the guesses? Yeah. That people made? Was he wearing the werewolf? Yeah. Yeah. I, I just think, yeah, I think it means werewolf. I think yeah. it's going to be a werewolf costume. So you guys, that's it on Psychomancer Films. So you K-H-H-10? Dr. Ron 1? I'm going to be here, 1, 2, 8, 2. You guys next time. See ya.